then if you keep pushing off learning about it or avoiding it or trying to get someone else to do it or whatever that might be, um, you know, it's going to catch up with you. There's going to be a time when you can't do that or the lack of knowledge that you have in that area could actually result in harm for a patient. So while you have that safety net of a preceptor, I highly encourage you to dive deep into those areas and fill in those knowledge gaps with intention so that you can become this well-rounded ICU nurse that while this job is intimidating, if I walk into the unit and I know, hey, you know what, I took the things that scared me the most and leaned into them head on and I can navigate those with confidence, um, then, you know, this very intimidating job becomes much more doable because, you know, those things can be scary, but at least you know how to navigate them and you've taken, taken that head on. And that can really bring down the anxiety level for sure. And if you keep pushing off learning about it or avoiding it or trying to get someone else to do it or whatever that might be, um, you know, it's going to catch up with you. There's going to be a time when you can't do that or the lack of knowledge that you have in that area could actually result in harm for a patient. So while you have that safety net of a preceptor, I highly encourage you to dive deep into those areas and fill in those knowledge gaps with intention so that you can become this well-rounded ICU nurse that while this job is intimidating, if I walk into the unit and I know, hey, you know what, I took the things that scared me the most and leaned into them head on and I can navigate those with confidence, um, then, you know, this very intimidating job becomes much more doable because, you know, those things can be scary, but at least you know how to navigate them and you've taken, taken that head on. And that can really bring down the anxiety level for sure. Um,